This is a farm you can do for decorations, gold, and research points at the very start of Iceborne. This is assuming you breeze through base world with defender gear, and now that you're in master rank, you're getting overwhelmed. My character is currently low HR and at MR4, but don't worry. The farm in this video would be possible the moment you beat Banbaro, technically. The quest that will be done would be Floral Frostbite, but with a slightly different approach. At the start of Iceborne, you will not have access to the whole Horfrost Reach. That is why the approach will change. Upon beating Banbaro, go on an expedition and unlock Camp 7 of Horfrost Reach. To unlock this, you have to face an MR Toby Kadachi. The set I've used before facing MR Toby Kadachi is the following. This can easily be attained by killing a bunch of Master Rank Hornitors and Rotten Vale, Great Jagras, and Beotodus. The Expert Plus 4 Deco and the Attack 1 Jewel are decorations that you would have already at this point in the game. The set gives you a balance of survivability by having health boost and good offense because of the attack boost and affinity coming from Critical Eye and Weakness Exploit. I am using the Defender LBG with 2 Recall Suppressor and 1 Close Range Up. The set actually deals decent damage, and the Defender LBG with Rapid Fire Normal 2 is definitely a beast. Just find your rhythm and have patience. Once you have unlocked Camp 7, you would need a farming set. All you need are the following skills. Master Gatherer, Level 2 Botanist, Level 2 Geologist, and yeah that's as cheap as it can be. You can make the set I have right now as basis. My headgear is from low rank and it has the master gatherer skill. My chest piece is from high rank and it has the level 2 botanist skill. Once you have that, it's time to do the farming. Go to the floral frostbite quest, fly to camp 7, go out and usually you just need to gather two spots and that's the quest. I still try to climb up and get the third for more research points. The number of decorations you get from this quest is RNG. Sometimes you get one and sometimes you get three. The beauty of this quest is not just the decorations. The ticket you receive can be used to meld a ton of usable items. Max potions, bombs, traps, etc. You can also use this quest to refresh your farm. I am fully aware that there are other decoration farm quests out there before MR like Greatest Jagras, Labasiot quest, and an Iceborne like the Zenogre quest. But here's the thing. Currently, I am low HR. So this one really works wonders to get a solid footing at the start if you skip the whole base world grind process. Another trick as well, if ever you decide to start your new playthrough when an event is active, I recommend trying out this starter set. I believe this is applicable for melee as well. For me, the shaver charm is really needed, especially if you are using a light weapon. The materials you need for this set can be achieved from just mining or bone piles or just fighting weak MR monsters. So it really won't be a hassle. If you have questions, just comment them down below. I'll be continuing my new playthrough and share sets for mid game for light bowgun and heavy bowgun that wouldn't be expensive to copy in the next couple of days. Thank you and I appreciate your continued support.